this weekend, there will be a pop-a-trunk event in Inkster. The concept allows vendors to sell their goods right out of their cars. And joining us now is event organizer Lisa Carter and vendor Tanisha. Thanks a lot for coming in here this morning. Really appreciate it. Thank you. So, Lisa, first off, give me an idea where you got the idea for this pop-a-trunk event. So, um, actually, I do, for Halloween, I do uh, pop-a-trunk. Uh, I'm, I'm having a brain freeze. Is that right? Pop up stores? I'm sorry, no. Oh. <laughs> For Halloween, okay. I do trunk or treat. Oh, trunk or treat. Trunk yeah. or treat, right. right. And that's where the kids come out and they go trunk to trunk and they get the candy. Mm -hmm. So I was just laying there one day because I do pop up shops and I was like, hey, I wonder how it will be if the vendors vend it from, they tr from their trunks. I thought about it. I've asked the, uh, I put it out on social media. Hey, how, what do you guys feel about this? And they were excited. And I went ahead and planned it. And boom, it's coming up. It's and Tanisha, coming. you're one of the vendors. So what kind of made you interested in thinking this would be a great idea? I am. So I've been working with Lisa since she started back when she did her Mother's Day event. And so it's just always been such a wonderful space to sell and to turn a profit, to be honest. And for, you know, a diverse marketplace along with small businesses, it's really a great opportunity for us to get our target audience. Yeah, of course. And you always want to make a profit. I mean, that's, that's what everyone's right. in it for now. <laughs> yes. uh, why don't you tell us when you pop your trunk, what are people going to see in there? What are you selling? Yes, yeah, so I'm going to be selling 22 Glow Body Naturals. We are a premium skincare line where your inner well-being is shown through your outward glow with our skin products that helps to enhance that. Now, Lisa, how do you hope this helps communities connect or the businesses connect with the communities they're in? Well, it does. Um, it brings out a lot of different people because um, what I do, do before I, we have the event, for at least a month, we're promoting. We're promoting, we're promoting all over social media. I have uh, Metro News. I have them promo uh, promoted. So it's, it's hitting a lot of different people, and it brings out a lot of different people from different cities all over. I even have vendors that come from out of, out of town. Yeah, that's impressive when they're yes. making the drive to, uh, you know, come be part of your event because they know they can make some money. Absolutely. How important is social media to what you do? It's extremely important. And uh, my vendors know I, I treat it. <laughs> I treat pop-up shops like a job. It's a job for me. And so I'm their supervisor for at least 30 days. And so social media, I tell them it's extremely important. You know, back in the day, we had to go door to door, uh, going into salons, passing out flyers and doing all those things. And now you don't have to. It's just a click of a button. Tanisha, tell me how attitudes have changed about where people buy things. I mean, 10 years ago, if you told me I could buy skincare products out of your trunk, I'd be like, all right, give me a break here. Yeah. Like, what are you selling me? But tell me how <laughs> attitudes have changed. Absolutely. And I think that is the beauty of what Lisa's doing, the economic impact that she's having in the local community. Our small businesses, our diverse businesses are able to reach audiences that we never would have been able to reach otherwise. And the dollars that they're spending with us are being reinvested back into the community. And so it's just, it's so important for the work that Lisa's doing. And it just creates such a great opportunity for all of us. All right, Lisa, you mentioned you have people coming from uh, out of town. Do you know the person who's coming the farthest distance, any chance? Well, this time, I believe he's coming from, yeah, the farthest this time is from Flint. Flint, okay. He's from Flint. Um, his name is Dante Lott, and he's his, the name of his brand is Solidified. Yeah, so he will be here. He's done at least three to four of my pop-up shops. Nice. Now, can people still get involved in this, or is it too late to be a vendor? No, absolutely. They can still sign up. I have, um, I will accept maybe five to ten more vendors. One thing about my events, they do, they fill up extremely fast. So once I put it out on social media, the vendors start rolling in. And 90% of my vendors are return vendors. So I tell yeah. people, once I drop the flyer or put the flyer out on social media, please join immediately. Because if you wait, you will miss out. So yes, I will accept five to 10 more vendors um, if they're interested in joining. All right, and if people want to come and buy uh, things out of the Papa Trunk event, well, give us the details where and when. Yeah, so the event is uh, this Sunday from 12 to 6 p.m. We'll be at 30225. Cherry Hill, that's in Inkster. Um, I do have an event space, which is called Bliss Event Center. So that's where it'll be held at. We'll just be in the parking lot this time and not inside of Bliss Event Center. Pop a trunk. Love it. What a great idea. Lisa, Tanisha, Thank thanks a lot for dropping and by this morning. Just to let Thank them you. know the event is free. It is free to attend. Yeah, free to attend, but you need legal tender to see Tanisha and her pop a <laughs> trunk event. That's right. So bring a little of that by. Hey, thanks a lot for dropping no, by. Thank really you. Appreciate we appreciate it. you.